कृष्ण गणैया लाल की जय Uh, my name is Ang Patel from the Hot Belly Born and Bred, uh, and I'm in my sixth year of study at Victoria University of Wellington, completing an honours degree in statistics and operations research. Uh, my mum and dad are originally from India. Uh, they've been in New Zealand for the last 30 years. I like to think of myself as a child of Hindu parents, and I always felt confused when I went to school, I'd be the Western Anka, right? And when I went home or associated myself with family or different Indian events, I would be Anka the Indian or Anka the Hindu, right? And I never thought that the two could actually meet. And I always thought I had to be one. And at a point in my life, I felt that I became Anka, who was just the Western and kind of neglected my, my heritage or my culture. As I, as I grew older and went back to the motherland and I started to see that I wasn't just the Anka, the Western or Anka, the Indian, I was, a, I was a culmination of the two beliefs or a fusion of the, the two worlds. I wouldn't like to call Hinduism a religion and from, from my point of view. I actually think it's a categorisation of maybe uh, philosophical or intellectual point of view. So there's no rigid code or set of beliefs that everyone has to follow. There are aspects of Hinduism, like many religions, that I do not conform to. And that's the reason I may not call myself a Hindu or I belong to a particular type of religion. I believe in honesty, trust and morality. Hinduism does have an aspect of that. The, although there is a, a caste system, so it's a hierarchy of where everyone should belong, everyone who follows the Hindu religion has a sense of honesty or purity or self-restraint. So it's a very humanitarian religion. It really takes morals into consideration. Namaste and Jashi Krishna. My name is Mahesh Bhatt and I'm from the India and I'm the priest of the Wellington Indian Association. So when we are entering into the temple, we have to first ring the bell. The bell is a symbolic of the, you know, that uh, uh, getting permission from the God uh, in one way. And the second way that um, some evils are in also our body. So when we ring the bell, that time the evils goes out from our body and uh, we get some uh, new energy, new power and peace in our mind. We believe in that uh, God is just like us, like a human need, uh, you know, the food. So the same way we are believing in that uh, as you need uh, your uh, primary basic things in your whole day, and that way we are also offering the fruits and nuts and sweets and all to the God because of we believe that uh, God even needs the food and the gods are going to eat this food. In Hinduism, there is all, only a one God, but you know that uh, we have the long, long decades and long, long uh, years of the Hinduism. So then that, uh, you know that the period, the gods comes on the earth with the different name in the face. Because of uh, if you are talking about the Krishna or if you are talking about the Rama, so they are the both uh, equal. The, just the name is different, just the appearance time is the different, just the yuga is the different. That's only one thing. We Indians are believing in always in the reincarnation, and that's our the holy book. Uh, the even the, our Gita says that. Uh, so reincarnation is the uh, one part of our uh, life, and uh, it's based on your karma. So if you are doing the good karmas, you become um, a good person in the next life. Or if you if you become the bad karmas, then maybe you can get the uh, life of uh, ant or butterfly or animal. Uh, you know that the uh, fish or something like that. Even tree, even also. But if we have done the very good karmas in your this life so maybe you can become uh, one more time uh, human in your next life even also yeah all religions have characteristics which are all linked and so even though 
you may not be a Hindu or you may not be a Christian. If you take all the religions into consideration, there are aspects of it where you're like, well, all, all these religions are some in some way connected. You can't be stubborn or um, strong-minded just to say that because I'm Hindu in New Zealand, I'm not going to incorporate anything from the New Zealand culture or from the Western culture. There has to be an integration of the two worlds for it to, for it to survive.